Hello, I am glad that you are here. We are about to engage in an intelligent conversation. Now, what makes the dynamics of this conversation interesting? You're an atheist. I am not. But what we're going to figure out is, despite that fact, what can we agree on? As I tackle a topic that will surely get this video demonetized, because anytime you put Trump in a title, it automatically does that. Sponsors don't want to touch that at all. But I care enough about asking this question that I'm willing to take one for the team and not make any money off of this video from the ads. So here we go. Are there atheists who are Trump supporters? Now immediately I'm going to answer that. Yes, there are. I'm sure there are. I know one that I met at work a couple years ago. And it was, the reason I'm bringing this up is because it's a bit of a paradox. In general, people who are atheists tend to be more liberal, closer to the demographic of Democrats. In general, typically, if you are, let's say, an evangelical Christian, demographically more likely to vote conservative and more likely to have voted for Donald Trump. I don't think anybody would disagree with that statement because it was well known that part of what helped Donald Trump win the election was the evangelical base, for the most part, largely supported him. Now, let me be very clear. I was not one of those people. Yes, put me in the category of evangelical Christian, but do not put me in the category of voted for Trump. I did not vote for Trump. I'm a libertarian. I did not vote for Trump. But predictably, in general, typically, atheists, by my understanding, would have been less likely to vote for Donald Trump. It would almost be ironic to see someone who says, yep, I believe there is no God, or I don't believe in God, however, however it's said. There's different levels of being you know, atheist and how you identify and that sort of thing. But I'm, I'm perceiving that it would seem somewhat ironic for there to be a group of atheists who are strong Trump supporters. Because demographically, that would seem like that would be more of the exception to the rule. So that's why I'm making this video. To say this, I'm asking you, the individual atheist, what I'm not doing is I'm not saying, hey, all atheists, whatever you say, that's what the generalization is and that is the truth. What I'm asking you, the individual, are you of that, what I perceive as sort of an odd demographic, that you're definitely conservative politically, but you also don't believe in God? Because what we have seen over the past several decades of voting for a president is that typically the, the evangelical base is going to go with the conservative candidate. And that's often what gets them elected. We could easily say that with, well, many of the Republican candidates that end up winning. We, we know that. But for someone to be so politically conservative that they are like, make America great again, they're wearing the hat, and at the same time saying, but I don't believe that there is a God or gods. I am not a theist. I do not believe in God, but I do believe in Donald Trump, and he's going to make America great again. I'm saying that my perception is that would be sort of an exception to the rule. But I'm asking you, the individual atheist, this question. I want to know your thoughts as an individual atheist. Can you expand on that? If you happen to be of what I perceive that rare demographic that is a Trump supporter and also an atheist, I would love to hear you talk more about it because I'm having trouble. The only guy I've ever known personally that was, was an atheist Trump supporter, he grew up in the South, involved in church, and then he actually was uh, fought in you know the, the first Gulf War, came back, got married, had a kid, by the time the kid was 10 years old, he decided, eh, I don't believe in God, actually, so I'm an atheist now. But this was a guy who was not only a Trump supporter, but he was like openly against gay marriage. And see, hopefully that's another place we can at least connect, me the Christian and you the atheist. It would be easy 
to often assume that, well, if someone's an evangelical Christian, they're definitely against gay marriage. And if you haven't watched my videos before, I've been very clear, I'm not against gay marriage, even though it's actually illegal now. But I, that's not a problem that I had with people getting married that were gay. Because for me, again, I'm a libertarian, so I'm able to separate marriage from approval of the state. To me, marriage is a private religious thing but for some, it's not even a religious thing, but still, it's a private thing. Why are we inviting the state? Why are we inviting the government to our marriage, to our private lives? Why do they need to be a part of that? I say separation of church and state. I say separation of marriage and the government. They should not be intertwined. So why do we need the government's approval for people to get married, whether the same gender or not, I don't see the connection there. That doesn't make any sense to me. That's non sequitur to say that we need the state or the government's approval for anybody to get married or to even define marriage. Now granted, yes, as a Christian, I do have what I believe is the biblical model of marriage. With that being said, what I don't care about is everybody else's definition of marriage. Whatever that definition is, why should you legally not be able to marry? Because for me, legal marriage is not that big of a deal. It's all it means is the state approves it or the government approves it and you've got it in writing. And, you know, it's more about in the case of a divorce, who gets what or whatever. So for me, that was always just, that just didn't matter to me. So demographically, I think I'm a little bit of an exception to the rule, the rule as far as how a lot of people might perceive me and assume what I might believe. Like, oh, you're an evangelical Christian. People might generalize, hey, if you're an evangelical Christian, you probably voted for Trump and you have a problem with gay marriage. And instead, I'm like, I'm an evangelical Christian, but I did not vote for Trump. And if people who are gay want to get married, I see what in the world does that have to do with me? So I know that I myself am outside of the main demographics for what you might expect from an evangelical Christian. So therefore, I'm thinking in an alternate universe, there are people who voted for Trump, will proudly vote for Trump again, but definitely don't believe in God. I want to sort that out and understand that better. If that relates to you or do you have anything you want to add to it, I'm all about having an intelligent conversation between you and atheist, individual atheist, and me, the individual Christian. Now, granted, I understand the comments we'll collect and we'll get a better mosaic idea of what individual atheists believe. But even then, that doesn't mean that that's what all atheists believe. That just means this is a conversation that we're having, an intelligent one, which the main focus is, what can we agree on? I don't care what we can't agree on. That's, that's not interesting. That's not engaging. What's engaging is, what can we agree on? In fact, if there's anything that I've said in this video, even if it's off the main topic, that you find engaging and you can say, you know what, I can agree with you on that. I celebrate that. That's really what this, these videos are all about. We acknowledge and celebrate what we can agree on. That is intelligence. That is connection. I think that's ultimately why people are even watching these videos and being involved in these videos because people are yearning for that. We live in a time when everything is so polarized. I mean, speaking of politics, I mean, that's how it is in America. That's what drove me to become a libertarian is I realized, wait a minute, Republicans see Democrats as the enemy. Democrats see Republicans as the enemy. They both see each other as ignorant and immoral and wrong. And yet, ultimately, isn't it corporations... <laughs> <laughs> that pull the strings anyway on so much of this anyway. So I became disinterested in politics and I thought, you know what? I cannot even relate to either of these groups fighting at each other. But it's that way with so many things that, especially in the United States, we're taught, choose a side, demonize the other side. Well, what I'm here to say is, I get it that we have different perspectives. And that's okay. It doesn't change the way I look at atheists. I do, I do not think atheists are bad people or worse than me or anything like that. They have a different perspective. And I would rather celebrate what we have in common. I think it's interesting when you have people of different, different demographics 
that connect on maybe other random levels they wouldn't necessarily think that they would otherwise. This ultimately, undeniably, is a social experiment. Yes, it's entertainment. It's entertaining for both of us. I think at times it can be challenging. But for me, the social experiment of what can we agree on? All right, now's your turn. Comments right here.